Baltimore City has a lot of really old bluegrass heritage from the 50s, from Bill Monroe and Del McCurry meeting here to a lot of Appalachian workers coming into town to work in the mills. Baltimore has a good history in music, and uh, there is definitely a Baltimore sound. You know, either the old time or the Bluegrass Jam or the Charm City Bluegrass Festival, there's certainly, um, you know, a growing interest in the music. And, you know, I have no complaints. I mean, Bluegrass is going to keep killing it. It seems more accessible. It's not, you know, anything weird or different. It's just, it's just an instrument. I mean, it's just simply a couple of stringed instruments and, and guys playing and singing. And The soulful, lonesome, eerie singing, uh, the simplicity of it, the fact that, like, you could play it on your front porch, it just, it just felt real. It's genuine music. To me, that's what I really like. I like the kind of community that surrounds it. I mean, when you go to bluegrass festivals, you see people bringing their instruments and, and participating. And writing songs with feelings and playing instruments that were, you know, this guitar was made by somebody's hands. You know, at least that's what I think it is, you know. They want to hear some real music, you know, and bluegrass is just that. We have never really had before. We've had, you know, bars and we've had things like that, but they've done a great job of creating something new. And they've they've taken a great spirit. And I think what you really do have is you have people who always had enjoyed bluegrass in Baltimore who are kind of coming back out for it. Um, I think they're really dedicated to number one, introducing and commemorating the the style of music and really like hipping people to how great it is. And then just all the Baltimore flavor that's involved. Union Craft Brewing, the Charmery, Believe in Music, you know, just, uh, they're really committed to, to making this a community experience. That, I think that's a testament to the power of friendship, to the power of believing, to the power of Baltimore. You know, what, what is this city, you know, what do we all have in common, right? We all live in this city. We all have a love and appreciation for the city. And so the little things that we can all do together to make something bigger than ourselves happen became Charm City Bluegrass Festival.